What you got there, Stephen? It's a baby sparrow, John. I found him in my driveway. I'm nursing him back to health. See, that's what I like about you, Stephen. You like to help others. It's really beautiful. Uh, I'm sorry, John. Hold on a sec. <laughs> sorry, John. Uh, what were you saying was beautiful? Let's just roll the next thing. We just hit another cultural milestone because after the recent closing of two blockbuster video stores in Alaska, mm. America has just one blockbuster left in Oregon, which means I am now one step away from taking permanent possession of the cutting edge. <laughs> you will soon be mine forever, D.B. Sweeney. <laughs> and that's just another thing that's fading away, that yeah. young people like you yeah. will, will never get to experience, like sending a fax or paying for pornography. <laughs> <laughs> so, I want to do something about it. I want to give the younger generation tonight a shot at an experience that will soon be gone forever, and it starts right now. All right, do we have millennials in the, in the audience tonight? Do you have a millennial? Okay, that's the first. You're not millennials. You're not, you're not a millennial. You're not a millennial. Are you a millennial? Are you a millennial? Come with me. Come with me. Come on, we're a millennial. There we go. Oh, well, we got to go back down here. Come on. There. This is... Hold on. This right here, this is, we call this the Bill Murray door, okay? Because he used to c c come in and out of the store a lot. Do you know who that is? Yeah, from Wes Anderson movies. Yeah. <laughs> from Wes Anderson movies. You're definitely a millennial. Let's go. So, uh, what's your name? I'm Christine. Christine, are you from New York? No, I'm from Missouri. Oh, okay, the yeah, show me yeah. state. I want to show you something that we're coming up on right now that is, um, they're disappearing all over America, but I wanted to give you an opportunity to use something that your age <laughs> never, ever has to deal with. Okay. Um, here it is, okay? Do you, do you know what these are? Yeah. <laughs> what is it? It's a phone booth. Okay, it's a phone booth, okay. Yeah. And what, what, what do you do in a phone booth? You can call people? You can, you can call. It's one of the things you can do. It's also, it's an open air urinal, also. <laughs> Um, have you ever used a, a, a phone booth before? I have not. You have not used a I phone? I have not used a phone booth. <laughs> I feel young. <laughs> Do you like to text? Yeah. Okay, because I hear yeah. millennials text more than they make phone calls. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like to text. You yeah. can text on this too. All you do is you pick up the phone, you dial the person that you want to text, and you tell them what it is you would have texted. <laughs> and then they get the information. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Let's make a phone call. All right? You have any quarters on you? No. You don't have any quarters. No, okay, you're gonna no need. Uh, you're gonna. Here, I'll Do give you some. Do you have something. quarters? I have quarters for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Hold that. Well, thank you. There you go. Wow. All right. Have you ever seen these before? They're like Venmo you can touch. Are you? Okay. All right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. So do you, have, do you have any idea about how to do this? What, what's your guess about how you're supposed to do this? I think you put it in there, in the, like, slot. Go ahead, give it a shot. Okay. All right. Oh, no. I got it, I got it. Oh, no. Don't worry about it. No. Don't worry okay. about it. I got a lot more. I got okay. a lot more. I got a lot. Don't worry about it. I'm rich. I'm rich. I got a TV show. Don't worry about it. Pick it up. Pick it up. Okay. Now, dial a phone number. Okay. Do you know any phone numbers other than yourself or your parents? Um, you can't look at your phone. No, I, I just don't. You don't know any phone numbers. <laughs> See, you had to actually know phone numbers when these were around. I don't know how you do that. Call this pizza place. Okay, just call this. I'll give you the number. Ready? Okay, okay. 1-917-261-4204. Is it ringing in there? Is it ringing? Thank you for calling Neapolitan Express. This is Angie. Hi. Um, five. Can I, can I get five? Large cheese pizzas. Large cheese pizzas? Yep. Five large cheese pizzas? Sure. Can I have a name for that order? Um, Christine. All right, Christine. Give it about five or six minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Did it work? It worked. All right, let's do one more. Face the camera. Okay. I'll whisper in your ear what you should say into a phone booth if if, if this was the heyday of phone booths. Ready? Okay. Hold that. Okay. Ready? Yes, yes. Operate, Repeat what I say. Operate, operator. Operator. 
get me Klondike 5232. I have to get my lover before he ships off to the war. I have to get my lover before he ships off to the war. We had a fight. I don't want him to face the Jerry's without my love. We had a fight, and I don't want him to face the Jerry's without my love. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld? <laughs> You can't have a red wave in a Republican primary. A Republican was always going to win. That's like saying, wow, I can't believe a child won the spelling bee this year. Those kids are on a streak. Child wave. <laughs> Pencil. P-E-N-S-I-L. Yeah, that's, that's the word that knocked me out in third grade. Mm. Wow. Do I carry it with me? Not at all. No Not way. Not at all.